Greetings, my Dolly friends. Here we are. In a nutshell, with this final program, we conclude this wonderful Digital Doll event for 2022. Thank you so very much for participating. We do hope you've enjoyed the programs by our members and instructors. Maybe you have even learned a thing or two. And we hope you'll enjoy all the kits and workshops, including our new mold, the Sweet Kunlin Sleasel. So without any further delay, let's get started with the digital costume competition for 2022. Welcome. We started this fun for all competition two years ago and have kept it going because it gives you all the opportunity to share your work no matter where you are. If you can take a picture and email that picture, you can join the fun. It truly is fun for all. My name is Carlin Grismkowski. I have been the Doll Artisan Guild's Director of Competition since about 2006 when Ringhild Erickson turned over the reins to me. I have had the pleasure of seeing many incredible dolls over the years. The talent never ceases to amaze me. And of course, we must recognize the people in the background who help us, our judges who donate their time to pour over the pictures of all the dolls. This year, Sophia Contralis of Gulf Breeze, Florida, and Linda Wall from Strasburg, Colorado, were our judges. Sophia was our head judge. They worked very hard for several days, and we are truly grateful to these talented and dedicated ladies for taking the time for all of us. And now a few words from our senior judge, Sophia Contralis. Thank you for tuning in to the 2022 Doll Artisan Guild Costume Competition. This year, we are celebrating our third fantastic year. I am Sophia Contralis of Gulf Breeze, Florida. I was once again so honored and delighted to be representing the judging team along with my partner, Linda Wall. Although we live far apart, technology allowed Linda and I to spend time doing what we love, judging your beautiful dolls. We were amazed at the creativity and talents displayed by participants from all over the world. In our book, you all deserve a top award for entering. Once again, judging was very challenging as there were so many great entries that we had to choose two winners for several categories. The rules for the costume competition allowed for greater variety of dolls to be entered. Once again, thank you so much for taking the time to enter this wonderful art, and we look forward to seeing your dolls in future competitions. Thank you again for showing your continued love for doll making. Thank you, Sophia. Let me remind you how the Fun For All costume competition works. First, the artist will choose the type of doll they will create a costume for. These are the sections that we have available. Some will choose a reproduction doll that they personally made. Some will dress a reproduction they purchased elsewhere. That's okay. It can be a doll on your shelf from 10 years ago that was needing a new frock or something you just finished. You can use an antique doll or a vintage doll like a hard plastic Tony or a Patty Play Pal from the 50s. You can use a collectible doll or artist doll like the Robert Tonner dolls that have become popular to sew for. You see, for this competition, we are not judging the doll. The doll is really a mannequin for the costume. Of course, we enjoy seeing a pretty doll dressed in a fabulous costume, but the doll is not the focus. Costume kits that are purchased are also okay if you sew it yourself. 
Some contestants sent information about their entries when sending their photos, and where possible, we will pass this along in the program. These are the awards that we have at this competition in 2022. The judges first choose the finalists for each of the awards. There may be as many as 10 finalists for a particular award, and other times there will only be two. The doll may be eligible for more than one award. For instance, Pretty as a Picture is an overall award. It's not as specific as Enchanting Enfantine, but the same doll could end up as a finalist in both. Not all dolls will be a finalist or win an award. However, we want you to know that we appreciate each and every doll that has been entered here. They all matter very much, not just to the Doll Artisan Guild, but to everyone who sees this program. You all prove that doll making, costuming, and creating some new trinket for your dolls matters and carries on no matter where on this planet you may be, or even when your country is in the middle of a war. You never know where your next inspiration may come from. Those of you who entered, your gift is sharing it with all of us, and we thank all of you. Let's get started. We begin with the finalist for a pretty as a picture. Christine Fisher from the U.S. Carol Williams from Australia. Britt Andreasen from Norway. Nagahori Mie from Japan. Hamasaki Kazue from Japan. Takano Satoki, Japan. Pauline Straker from the UK. Pauline advises that she made the AT11 doll and the dress was made from silk and stitched by hand, the pattern from Joan Narini. The underwear and underskirt is made of cotton batiste and lace, and the shoes are also handmade. Lee Myung from South Korea. Joyce Butcher, USA. Jenny Nui, Australia. Deborah Cooper from Australia. And the Pretty as a Picture 2022 award goes to It's a tie. Deborah Cooper of Australia. Deborah's entry is a Robert Tonner vinyl Elowen doll in a three-piece costume with a pattern designed by Magalie Howell Dawson named Palazzo. The costume was sewn by Deborah. Hamasaki Kazue from Japan. The judges commented on the lovely beading on this dress. Next, we have the best child finalists. Sandra Paul, Australia. Anita Fuge, Australia. 
And Anita also sent us a video of her mechanical doll in action. Hamazaki Kazue, Japan. Linda Taylor, the UK. Linda Dudek, US. Linda says that her Biskip Steiner, that we call Angelique, was made with antique laces and decorations. Linda Alexander, U.S. And the Best Child Award goes to Ty. The first award goes to Sandra Paul, Australia. And our second Best Child Award goes to Linda Alexander for her steampunk boy. Next, we have the lovely lady or gent finalists. The first is Britt Andreasen from Norway. Anna Burley from the U.S. Jenny Newey. Australia. Kathleen Langley, Australia. Jeffrey Cook, USA. Carol Williams, Australia. Sherry Starks, USA. Anya Hale, from New Zealand. And the lovely lady or gent award goes to Anya Hale, New Zealand. Next, we have Enchanting Enfantine finalists. Anita Fuge, Australia. Amy Young, from South Korea. The Enchanting Enfantine Award goes to Anna Hale, 
Anita Fuge, Australia. Next, we have our best regional costume. Nagahori Mie, Japan. Abe no Riko, Japan. Kathleen Langley, Australia. Lucia Shevik, Norway. And the best regional costume award winner is Kathleen Langley, Australia, for her Scottish boy with bagpipes. And now we'll take a brief intermission. Well, not actually. We're just going to take a pause because I want to show you something. Im Young from South Korea sent us a video of her dressing her competition doll. I thought you would enjoy it too. So I asked if we could share it and she has agreed. Take a look. know about the rest of you, but wow, that's gorgeous. Thank you so much, Emil. We appreciate it very much. Our next section is Adorable Adornment Finalists. Jeanette Carson, Australia. Christine Fisher, North Carolina. Solvay Hamra, Norway. Susan Wolford, the UK. Jeffrey Cook the U.S. Donna White, U.S. And the adorable adornment winner is a tie.
Solve Hamra from Norway. Solve says uh, that she knitted, hand knitted all of the items using very fine merino wool yarn. She also made the box. It is lined with silk and paper. And the box is a music box playing a lullaby for the all bisque baby. Precious. The second is Donna White of the U.S. Donna says that this is uh, the first American Native American with wolf friends. She calls it She Who Dances with Wolves. She said the wolves were hand felted by herself and the accessories, the moccasin, the necklaces uh, were made by her and uh, she needle felted the wolf and the pup. Next, we have Charming Chapeau finalists, and they are Sandra Paul, Australia, Mary Elliott, Australia. Anna Burley, U.S. Nagahori Mie, Japan. Peggy Eggert, U.S.A. And the Charming Chapeau Award is a tie. And the first award goes to Sandra Paul, Australia. Next one goes to Anna Burley of the U.S. Next we have the Sensational Scene finalists. Mary Elliott of Australia. Ulrike Jankner of Germany. Susan Green of the U.S. Lisa Lim, the U.K. Deborah Cooper, Australia. Shirley Cruz, U.S. And the Sensational Scene Award goes to Ulrike Jankna of Germany. Our next award is the Creative Concept. The finalists are Ulrike Jankna of Germany. Anna Rondi Booby Yorkland, Norway.
Susan Green, U.S. Mary Elliott, Australia. Linda Alexander, USA. Nona Sakin, Ukraine. And the Creative Concept Award goes to Anna Randy Bubiorkelen, Norway. Anna wrote a note for us to uh, read, and it says, Hi, this is really interesting challenge and a bit difficult too. After thinking about it for a while, I came up with an idea about making something about my favorite musical, Les Miserables. I searched the internet and Pinterest to get information and pictures, which I could use for the costume I was going to make. I then started designing my costume. I used my computer and CorelDRAW to enlarge and reduce the pictures I found so it would fit the pattern for my costume. I also arranged some of the pictures together with some text and lyrics from the musical. I used fabric sheet for all the pictures and imperial batiste for the rest of the dress. All the patterns, all the pictures, excuse me, are from the musical. There are smocking on the dress and on the little fabric piece on the back of the hat. There are no raw edges inside the costume. I also wrote down all the lyrics from the song and used it on the panel on the dress. The music pattern I have used on the hat, collar, arms, and also on the panel are from the song. If you notice on the back of the hat, it says Les Miserables, in a nutshell, Les Miserables which I thought, that's how appropriate is that for our convention that's in a nutshell. Next, we have our award for the theme of 2022. In a nutshell, all best dolls. The finalists are Jeanette Carson, Australia. Takano Sa Tuko Kodaya Hiro E Japan Jeanette Carson, Australia Lisa Lim, UK. And the award for the theme in a nutshell, All Bits Dolls, goes to Jeanette Carson of Australia. And here we are, the finalists for the We Want to See This in Person Award. As you consider the finalists in this category, be aware that we also choose the final award, the Digi, the best in show from these finalists. Let's begin. Hamataki Kazui, Japan. Jenny Nui, Australia.
Linda Taylor, the UK. Linda Dudek, the US. Kathleen Langley, Australia. Anna Rondi Bubjorkeland, Norway. Donna White, U.S. Anya Hale, New Zealand. And the winner of We Want to See This in Person Award is Linda Taylor of the UK. These are absolutely beautiful costumes. Get that little all bisque. And the, the whole thing is just really gorgeous. Very well deserved, Linda. And without further delay, the Doll Artisan Guild Digi Award Best in Show for 2022 goes to Jenny Newey, Australia, for her masquerade doll. We have a little information from Jenny about her masquerade doll. She said that the hat was made by herself using costume matching silk with feathers attached. The masquerade mask was handmade and painted by herself and decorated with beads, braid, and feathers. She also made the hat box. It's leather covered with silk ribbon handle. Congratulations, Jenny. This is beautiful. Thank you. Well, in a nutshell, the time has come to say goodbye. We hope you all enjoyed your time and we'll see you again soon. Congratulations Keep to making all your of dolls. our winners and Bye -bye, to everyone, everyone who entered a doll in the Doll Artisan Guild Digital Costume Competition this year. We look forward to seeing you again in the future. And please be sure to look at the dollartisanguild.org website and keep track of the events that we will be having for this next year. We have several planned, including one in England, and we hope to have another one here in the U.S. next year.